don't really want any of this. Bye bye. Bye bye. How nice is this putting all this away? Go and great hammer. We don't want this stuff. Uh, put that spear away. And that one. And that one. Keep these. Heidi spear. This could be a pretty good spear, I have to say. So I don't. I don't really think I should get rid of it permanently or anything, but, uh. Heidi Lance could very well be good as well. I'll actually check that out and see if it's decent. Now, this is a much more organizable inventory. Like, I actually can see what I have here. It's not. <laughs> it's not gonna get me killed by trying to choose something. Silver Black Spear, that's right. We can't even use it. Oh, yeah, we need eight of all of those stats. It's a pretty beefy looking spear, isn't it? And it has a horizontal attack, which is interesting. Um, what is the benefit to this? It does. It has dark damage, so I think dark scales with intelligence. So yeah, we're probably not going to use that. We'll put away the silver black spear. Um, equip the partisan. Why not? Okay. Would it make more sense to say partisan? I think it's partisan. I'm saying partisan like it's... Anyway, we won't we won't get into partisan... Partisan politics! Anyway, I'm sorry. I can't really do a decent commentary today, can I? It's very bizarre. Anyway, a Heidi Spear could very well be something that we want to use. I don't know. It's When it comes to spears, I would rather stick with something that has good uh, deck scaling. I don't know. This Blue Knight's Halberd is something that I'll probably use as well. Because I think it it keeps its B scaling when you when you infuse it with an element, I think. So yeah, it would be a good idea to use that halberd. But I at the same time, like I said, I don't really feel like using a halberd right now, so yeah, I won't. In terms of this partisan, we haven't even seen how strong it is now. Or yeah, I guess wait, we haven't upgraded it yet, have we? No. So let's go give that a shot. We'll do it now. Just going to be upgrading it one more time if we if we have enough souls, which we don't, which is upsetting. I probably could have just well, is there any soul that we can consume? Did we? Oh yeah, that's right, we did get this soul of a proud knight. So yeah, fortunately that's just going to be enough for us to level this up one more time. We might as well use the partisan. Uh, I can't even remember how strong Pate's spear is at this point, but uh, yeah, anyway. This is, Pate Spear is pretty good, isn't it? I mean, it's just nice to have different spears, I guess. I mean, what would be the benefit to this? It's literally the same, except it has more... It's lighter, and it has more durability, so... Oh, then again, this is an S-scaling, that's right. So, yeah, the more we upgrade this, I guess, the better. It's just it Pate Spear is balanced out by having an initial damage of, like... It was like 180, I think it started at, whereas this one started at like 120, I think, or 130. But yeah, um, it's balanced out through the scaling. I don't know, it'll probably end up being around the same, but uh, we'll level this up for now. I still think maybe Pate Spear will be better, but uh, 299, yeah, I think Pate Spear's like 230-something. No, 330-something, 314. Okay, well, we'll stick with Pate Spear for now, but if we do have problems... And Pate Spear breaks, we can always use the Partisan or the Hardy Knight Sword. Hardy Knight Sword is still our most powerful weapon right now. I say still, I mean, it, it's only been our most powerful weapon since we upgraded it, which was only like, what, 15 minutes ago? But yeah, I say it like it was always the case. Well, it, for a long time it was our strongest weapon because of its additional lightning damage. That's kind of how it works. I mean, it doesn't... Right hand weapon, that number does not show physical damage. It shows a combination of physical damage and all other elemental damage. So it's not necessarily going to be a case where every single enemy you hit is going to get hit by 342 damage. Because, I mean, that would be the case with physical damage, but elemental damage varies depending on the enemy, I think. Depending on the individual resistances of the enemy. And it could very well be the case with physical damage as well. Certain enemies have more resistance to physical damage than others. But, uh, yeah, I'm not too positive. Uh, well, I'm uh, not too positive. I'm not too sure that I know all of those little ins and outs in terms of the stats and how they interact with enemies and all of that. I don't really know. So, do excuse me if I am ever incorrect when I'm talking about these things. But anyway, uh, we have already talked to Ornifex. I think that's the only reason why we would, we would want to go over there, so we'll go this way now. Yeah.
Don't roll over there. That could be bad. Could be bad. I don't know if it would be bad, but it may very well be. So let's not take risks, shall we? I think we can just break this if we want to. Don't know what the benefit of that would be, but uh, anyway, we'll break these. I think, yeah, that's right. We can... <laughs> Jeez, you do a bit of damage to me, don't you, mate? You... That's not something that I can go through. Anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure we want to kind of destroy all of these bookcases because there is a chance that things are hiding behind them, like this one here. That is one that you can possibly miss, I guess. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I guess an issue with this weapon is that it, because of its, I guess, attack swing, it hits the ground, so it's kind of... I guess hitting the ground, as opposed to hitting the air, would do more damage to the d stability. Not stability, durability of the weapon. It would consume more durability, is what I'm saying, and weaken the weapon over time. These guys are kind of weird. Uh, don't get hit by them. I wouldn't recommend it too much, to be honest, because I think they they grab onto you and bite you and stuff, but uh, yeah, that's how I remember them anyway. They've got legs on their backs, you can see that much yourself. Um, I think the... Isn't the Looking Glass Knight the boss for this place? And then we've got another boss. I just... I can... I associate the Looking Glass Knight with this area, and the Looking Glass Knight can be kind of weird, I will mention. So just be aware of that. He is... Well... He's very damaging, as far as I can remember. I mean, he's one of those bosses, once again, where you can kind of avoid his attacks, his attacks easily, but he uh, he really does hit like a truck, so you do need to be careful. I should be using my shield. I should be holding it up in front of me. Time night chunk. Yeah, useful. Don't give up skeleton. <laughs> I don't think the skeleton is in a position to give up or not give up. It's kind of just a skeleton, but anyway. maybe Maybe it's telling us not to. It's telling us not to give up just because we're looking at a skeleton, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it always... It's always a bit unnerving whenever I see one of these petrified people. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean in this game, to be honest, because Curse doesn't petrify you anymore, so what is that? I don't think... I don't even know. I'm confused. But anyway, probably I'm probably just overthinking it. It doesn't matter, I would imagine. Probably just doesn't matter. Uh, I'll break this thing here. I am happy that I do have a few weapons that are quite good that I can use if I do break any weapons. Uh, there's a black phantom hiding there, hello. I'm glad that I saw you, but anyway. I think just ahead there, yeah, there's a door that we can open. I think... I don't know what we fight... I just... Maybe the Looking Glass Knight is in a different spot. I don't know, it's kind of weird. I just... I feel that that is the boss for this area, That's that's all. We need to be careful of this stuff here, by the way, because it will break our stuff. And be careful of this stuff, it'll break our stuff. Let's say stuff a few more times. Yeah, good idea. I'm killing you before you can do that again. Stop it now. It's just my concern is not so much... Uh, well, maybe that's petrified. Oh, shit. Get away from me, please. I'm glad you destroyed that by attacking me. Good thing. Good thing. <laughs> Uh, I don't believe you... Generally, you can't really parry people who go two-handed. That's that's just the rule, I think. I'm not too sure, though. I could very well be wrong. Let's just kill you. You're not worth my time, sir. Do you give me anything useful? Not at all. Not at all. I don't know if he respawns, so yeah. Too heavy to open. I think that's because there's sand in there. So, I don't know how we open that, but I think there is a way to. can't remember now. Anyway, uh, God, this cart always gives me the shits. Please break it every time, otherwise you'll want to kill yourself. Do not fall in there, it hurts. And uh, generally, people do fight that black phantom around here, and they have a bad experience, because if they fall in there, yeah, it hurts, and you need to get out kind of quickly. Oh, these enemies. Right. We need to be careful here, because they are annoying as hell. Stop it. Uh, don't have any life gems. Would be nice to have life gems, I think. We'll just hit you while I'm here. Okay, just shield. Just be careful, Doom Link. Don't be a fool. Take it nice and slow. Okay. I don't even know what I just got hit by. I think when they die, their legs just automatically attack you. And I don't know. I think it happened with him. It doesn't It's not, like, guaranteed to happen. Is this going to be a mini-boss or... Yeah, well, I don't know if you would call it a mini-boss. It's just like an area where we're fighting all of these spiders that do a lot of damage to us, but we also do a lot of damage to them. 
Well, not necessarily a lot of damage to them, but they don't have much health, that's the point. But, uh, yeah, I don't think this is going to lead to a boss or anything. It seems that whenever we get a door with those spiders, it means that we're going to fight some spiders. So I guess that's not... It doesn't require a nuclear physicist's degree, if such a thing exists, which I would imagine it would. But, yeah, it doesn't require that to know that spider means spider. Yeah, don't worry. Anyway, it's just me talking. Don't, don't worry. Don't... Don't expect to hear anything too terribly enlightening coming out of my mouth when I talk, okay? Just don't expect it. Uh, enemy ahead, thank you. By the time I would have read that, I would have just gotten hit. Because I would have been too busy focusing on your stupid message. What? You are still alive. I can't believe it. Yeah, thanks for doing damage to me. You annoying person. Now, I believe the boss of this area is just for... Oh, no, it's not... Okay, so we're not fighting the Looking Glass Knight yet. This is indeed the boss that I thought that we were going to fight which isn't the Looking Glass Knight, rather it's like a giant spider. Imagine that, a spider. Yeah, well, that's the theme of this area, I suppose. Uh, okay, I'll take damage here. Just, mm, I don't know. I'll use this Radiant Life Gem when I feel that I have low enough health to warrant its use. But, uh, yeah, I don't really want to waste any more Estus Flasks. I will probably use the Spear for this boss, by the way. For no reason in particular, I think I'll just do that because I'm comfortable with it. So, yeah. Uh, as you can see, there is indeed a big web system going on here, so... Yeah, it's kind of disgusting, I guess, if you're not into spiders and webs and such, but yeah. Uh, just fall on that web, please, and be careful. Don't get killed by people. And by people, I mean spiders. I don't know how by people I mean spiders, but... Yeah, it's just... It's called me saying random shit. That's what it is. Well, not random shit. I mean, I guess you can... You can refer to spiders as people if you would like to. It's just incorrect. <laughs> anyway, let's go pick this up. Simpleton Spice. Because I'm not a simpleton, I will not be using that spice. So, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to pick up all the items around here. There is another one hiding around in this area. Corrosive Urn. I guess that would be good against... Uh, well, it would be good against players, I suppose. So... Yeah, corrosive urns would probably be good if you want to troll actual players. But anyway, um, we'll go through here. I'm pretty sure we can change our equipment as we're passing through a fog gaze. Okay, come on. Uh, I need to change weapons. Come on, spear. Fortunately, it is easier to choose weapons at this point. And by choose weapons, I mean... Well, I mean choose weapons. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to fight you. It is annoying that I can't really remember how to fight you, but... I would just love to be able to remember how to fight you. I think these guys just respawn as well, by the way. Let's go to the other mouth. Okay. And that's gonna hurt, yeah. Radio. Yeah, these spiders do do a lot of damage to us, these little small ones, so... Yeah, I think when he's doing that, we want to go over to this side and then hit his head. That's the idea. We just want to change heads in that way. It's a good idea. Just keep on changing heads, you see. That's gonna hurt, of course, yes. No surprise there. I think these spiders get more and more angry as time goes on, to be honest, so... We do need to be kind of careful. And you know what? It wouldn't be a terrible idea to kill them from time to time, too. That is, unless you keep on fucking up in terms of trying to hit them, which is what, ex which is exactly what I'm doing here. And, you know, these freaking spiders are really pissing me off. Like, just go away. Just do everyone a fucking favour and die. Not good. Not the direction where I wanted to go. <laughs> And these spiders will, of course, uh, be spiders and crawl after me really quickly. Be careful of that. Don't get hit by that. It hurts. A lot. It's good that we do have this kind of weapon, actually, because ultimately we will be able to have a more focused direction with our hits, so we won't be hitting either side of his pincers, by the way. We'll just be hitting the head, which is exactly what we want to be hitting. Yes, be careful of that. He, like, swings back and forth. It's kind of dodgy. And it hurts a lot, I will mention. Uh oh we don't want to get hit by that.
It's not the boss itself that hits you, it's these stupid individual spiders, they're really annoying. Oh bullshit, the hitbox of that is just garbage. The Duke's dear Fraser, that's right. I want to kill these freaking spiders. They spawn kind of infinitely as far as I can remember. Yeah, be careful of when he's like smashing his legs down and shit. Okay. Alright, no, that really hurt a lot. Please get away from me. Alright, so now we'll hit this head. Probably go two-handed, just to make things a bit quicker. It is kind of creepy that it does have two heads, isn't it? I want to kill that freaking spider. It does help that we have a lot of, I guess, damage. I can't remember having this much attack damage against the last thing. I kind of want to go for gold here, but at the same time I don't. It'd probably be a good idea not to. I'll go for gold now, but... Uh, you're dead, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, bye-bye. Anyway, just die, please. I'm begging you. You annoy me so much. It's, it would have been a good idea to just go and attack these guys normally, if I'm being honest, because it seems that they don't infinitely respawn, so... Yeah. And these guys are coming in from the other area there, which makes sense. Might as well kill them for a combined number of souls. <laughs> anyway, um... So I think that's a great soul, isn't it? I'm not too sure. It could very well be one of those great souls, but... Uh, we can continue over to that side. I don't know what this does. We might as well examine it. Great soul embraced, you say. I see. Don't know what that does for us, but... Uh, there's this weird purpley shit going on here now. I don't know what that means for us, but uh, it's done something. You probably don't want to continue without embracing that soul, whatever that means, so yeah, don't do that. We will be able to check now to see if that uh, soul is a great soul. Pretty sure it is. Maybe not. No, it's not a great soul, okay. Maybe the Looking Glass Knight is next. <laughs> I've got no idea. Um, I can't even remember what we're doing now. Oh yeah, this guy is an enemy, be careful of him. It's really rude when they go from just being in a boss, oh my god, bright stone key. Uh, did we get to a locked door at any point? Can't remember it. Dark Quartz Ring Mall. I think that just, that's another elemental thing. Uh, yes, increases dark defense. Anyway, um, yeah, it's kind of rude that you just go through a boss and then they give you an enemy to fight. It's kind of funny how they do that, but, uh, well, it's not that funny. Oh, here's the Headless Man. This is exactly what I was talking about. They give you a boss to fight. Really rude. It's not really a boss, but it's an enemy that hurts you, so just be careful. We can backstab him here if we want. And that'll do a lot of damage, as you'll be able to see there. So this is the headless guy, basically. And he... He is the one that we saw in... Well, we didn't really see him, but we saw his head in that misty area. And basically, he wanted us to go and find his headless body, and we just killed him there. Vangal's armor, and etc, etc. We'll see how it compares to this. Uh, it's slightly heavier, but you know what? I'm good with that. We can still fast roll, we should be okay. And we can also get Vengal's helm from him as well. Uh, from the head when we go to his head, so... I think his head is just like, okay, well I'm done, and then he just goes and dies or something. Uh, I don't... what's the... 